In Alabama, COVID positivity rates are climbing. In DeKalb County, the positivity rate is now hovering around 32% after more than 40% over the weekend tested positive. That's not taking into account at-home tests that go unreported to the state. Way 31's Matt Kroschel live now for us in Huntsville. And Matt, what's different with this current COVID wave? Nikkel, right now across the state of Alabama, about 500 people, including 18 children, are in the hospital with COVID complications. But that is far less from the thousands we saw hospitalized with previous waves and other variants during this pandemic. The state, of course, tracking all of this. They started to see the spike in May elsewhere in the country. Some communities moving back to mandatory masking, other protocols we all know very well. Uh, but we're told that likely won't happen here in Alabama. Alabama because we are just not seeing the severe illness like we've seen with past surges. I have not seen quite as many hospitalizations at this time. We're just a little over 500 cases. That's still a lot in hospitals and 18 of those as of Friday were children. So that's still a lot, but it's far, far less than the thousands that we had. So I really think we go back to that same message. Again, in Alabama, we're not different from other states. And that message is to stay up to date on your vaccine, but recognize that, you know, certainly these variants have been, you know, a, a little more crafty, for lack of a better word, in getting around our uh, vaccine as a preventive measure. Dr. Landers says all the new treatments that doctors have to combat the virus once someone does get infected is definitely helping them keep people out of the hospitals. Of course, the vaccines and boosters are still effective, even if they're having a more difficult time with some of these new variants as they come along. Again, Dr. Landers says the best thing you can still do, it remains the same here, is to wear a mask and practice social distancing. Make sure to wash those hands. Reporting live in Huntsville, I'm Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.